that's where I want cheap trick. I want you to want me. That was right there, live at the Budokan. This is Mr. Moshida. He's a very good friend of mine. He's the head of the Pancras fan club. And he's doing a lot of good things for Pancras. Now, me beating Suzuki before made me kind of a favorite. But do not underestimate Suzuki because he just beat it, Ken Shamrock. And uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't beat Ken. He did. So I had to watch out. ただいまよりメイベント、キングオブパンクラス、タイトルマッチ30分1本勝負を行います。青コーナー、挑戦者、185cm、89kg、ランキング1位、バスルー! Man, I, I, I didn't have a lot of hair on my back right there. You see, the older you get, the more hair you get everywhere. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> now I gotta do the laser treatment. <laughs> this is crazy. H, what H can do to you. This was very special for me. It was a title fight. We had Peter Ertz, a very close friend of mine, the three-time K1 champion. He was in the audience with a lot of friends, with a lot of Dutch friends. So um, I, I, I had to win this fight. But against Suzuki, he's, uh, yeah, he's got a bag full of tricks. You hear in my corner, Larry Papadopoulos is a very good coach. He taught me a lot of, and he taught me a lot of good things. I will come to that later on. Whoa, look at this. Beautiful takedown. I make the kick, he grabs the kick, takes me down. Beautiful, neck cranks me. He's trying to break my guard here. Because or I'm gonna open my guard or I'm gonna tap. You see? Because if I open my guard, I relieve the pressure of my neck. Oh, I didn't do it. I guess I'm okay. <laughs> oh, he grabs my leg, goes to side mount. This is not a position you want to have him in. But the good thing is with Suzuki, he keeps moving. So that gives you also opportunities to escape. Whether if you have somebody who doesn't move, there's nothing you can do. A knee to the body right there. And that is his liver, yes. Here see we, we see a nice shot of the ring, lucky strike, a, a smoke commercial <laughs> in a sports ring. That is nice. Instead of Gatorade or something, but no. <laughs> okay, I tried to turn him here now, probably. Come on, boss. Hey. Oh, he's going to try for that armbar, but it's not going to work. Grab his head. Push his head back, and he simply rolls back to the side mount. Very good athlete, very fast, goes from one transition to the other. And he's got the scarf hold again. Right now, I know so many things that I can do. Oh my God. Oh, and there I'm going. I should have sprawled out now, but I didn't. So he's got the side mount again. He's got the mount, and again, now there are many things that I can do to escape this mount. This is not one of them, but at least it's going to put him in a half guard, which makes me very acceptable for leg locks, especially knee bars. And Suzuki finished Ken Shamrock with a knee bar 
in the match before this, so I really had to watch out for that. But he sets everything perfectly up. He's going back to the side mount. Knee to the body, and again, that's the liver right there. Kidney, liver area. He's trying a reverse figure four on me, and he probably will step it over into an armbar, see? Uh, but I knew that, and now I am in his guard. Now with a guy like Suzuki, oh, something happened. I don't know what. Something happened, maybe a finger in the eye, I don't know. So they step up. Too bad. I don't know if they're going to restart it on the, our feet or if um, they're going to put us back on the ground. It was too bad because it was a good attempt. I finally was in his guard and um, I wanted to see if I could do something from there. This is nice, they uh, put a flashlight in your eyes so you're blind now on both eyes. <laughs> it's like putting a laser there. It's a very serious look. But I can ensure you, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue this fight because you know why I know that? Because I fought that fight. And it was a long time ago. So yes, that guy in the middle, the jury is, uh, the judge is Mr. Hiroto. He's a phenomenal acupressure person. I fought with a broken hand one time and he just pressed on some places and I could fight. It was unbelievable. Uh, acupuncture too. Very good massage guy. Uh, Papers is very lucky to have a guy like him there in the center of the ring watching over us. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I didn't train with any grapplers or wrestlers, so that means I never really trained myself to protect myself from a takedown. I should have, I know, but we don't have wrestlers in Holland. Yeah, we maybe have, we have 10, <laughs> and that's about it. Whoa. Blazed away, but he saw it coming. See how he moves, he moves right away to the side. I, he doesn't even give me a chance to get him into the guard. He's going for a lag lock. And watch this, now he's very tricky. Oh my God, I have a real nice lock that I can do right now on him. Not anymore. It's called the Basruden heel pull. You can all find it in the Basruden big book of combat. Break. We got a break, there was nothing there. Just testing each other off. Oh, I should have sprawled out that leg. I did it, I got the guillotine, but right away he pushes me to the side and again he's got the side mount on me. <coughs> Knee to the side, actually it's to the kidney area. <laughs> he's stepping over to the mount position right now. This is a good reason because he's got a right arm around my neck. I could turn him. Now he's in the half guard. Yeah. 
And he's in a position here that he can go for a leg lock. Fight! Full mount again. Oh, close attempt there. I went for the side choke. He slipped out. He's probably going for a knee bar. It looks like it. Let me see. Yeah. He didn't, but it would have been a good thing for him to do because I had my leg way out there. Fight! I roll into a knee bar there. Hey! That was a good attempt. Who thought that boss would do submission suddenly? There are more things that I can do right now, and you will see it later in another fight, and I will refer to this fight, how I finished the person. It's the same exact situation, but of course I came home after watching this fight, and I said, wait a minute, I could have done this. And later on, on these DVDs, you will see that I use it against somebody. That's the good thing about coming home, looking at the fight and looking at your mistakes. See what you did wrong so you can learn from your mistake. There we go. Ooh, I we're too close to the ropes. They're probably gonna break us up now, see? Ah, this is bad, but hey, what can we do? It's the rules. Right straight to the body, and that was a good right straight. Oh, I can't believe that he can take me down with a thing like that. It would never happen again anymore. Of course, I started training with a lot of wrestlers once I entered America, and especially after my fight against Kevin. I took a long time off because I had a lot of problems, but still. They won't take me down like that anymore. That's one thing I can assure you. My corner says, don't talk to him. Because I was talking to him. What I said, I don't know, but... God knows. He's in the mount. There's nothing really that he can do from a mount position. Or he should start striking. But if they start striking, I would start striking too if I'm gonna get the mount. And it was kind of a gentleman rule. You will see in a lot of fights, if I strike one time when I'm on top, people start booing, you know, they didn't like me as a striker to strike on the ground. Good call here from the referee. Suzuki there giving me a hand. And there again I go for the guillotine, he steps over and what an easy takedown. And again, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm squeezing my toes, how easy that was for him to take me down. I wish I could do it all over again now. He's going here for reverse figure four and from there he will go on into an arm bar like we said, like we saw before. I'm trying to knee his head now, see? Wait. Knee 
knee right on my face. My corner says stretch your legs, and I tell my corner no because then I don't have any balance. You see, now I can push myself up. He's got a guillotine on me. This is not a smart thing for me to do. I should have just that up. Okay, but hey, I wanted to try one time what I could do in with him, in, uh, with me in his guard. I should have pushed him down now with my elbows. I should have pushed his shoulders to the ground. And then a neck crank will work. But if you lift his upper body up, it doesn't work. You see? I should have pushed his shoulders on the ground. It's a total waste of energy for me, to, and I do it again now again. <laughs> Let's try it again. And look at the beautiful reversal from Suzuki. And knowing him, he will use this against me. I told him, I said, do it, hit me, because then it's going to give me a green light to hit him too. He's going to a half guard, he's probably going for the knee by ass, because he's there right there, and he's got it! He's got it, and I make an escape. Whoa! I told you, do not underestimate Minoru Suzuki. I think that was the last submission I got caught in ever in my life. So. But now, he's getting more tired, and I'm gonna get him, ooh, knee to the head. My corner says, boss, he felt that knee. You gotta do something now. He's still going for another knee bar, but oh yeah, hey, listen, um, you're not gonna get it anymore now, pal. I don't wanna go there anymore. I have to do something here because I know. Boom. I'm sprawling back now, finally, no, he's stepping to the side. I wanted to say finally I let him not get on top of me, but again he gets on top of me. It's like I said, I'm still in the learning stage. You will actually see me growing in the rest, uh, on the, the rest of the DVDs in my submissions. There's nothing he could do. I could turn him to the left right now if I would. If I, but I, I didn't know. Break, break from the referee. Both a little bit of rest. We get the 15 minute mark. I need to do something here. And I think it was going to start. I know he's tired, so I want to go for the body. That was a good front kick. He felt that front kick, and that's a guillotine choke, and I had it full on, and he's tapping, which makes me the first time king of pancreas, winning by submission on Suzuki Minoru. What a day this was. And what a beautiful kip up. <laughs> I hit him with the front kick, and that already took him out a little bit. And then with the guillotine, it was so tied on that he tapped right away. And that water, I really needed, trust me.
試合タイム15分35秒フロントチョークスリーパーで Let's see the finishing move in slow motion The right front kick, that's the kick that actually hurts him. Boom! That's the one. I tell you, that's the one that really hurt him. Go for a guillotine, but he is still in pain from the front kick. I roll him on his back and pull as hard as I can. He's next to the ropes, but he doesn't tap. Uh, he doesn't grab the rope, he taps out. <laughs> 